ഹലോ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ടു ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ഐ എം സദാശിവൻ ഫയർ ആൻഡ് സേഫ്റ്റി ട്രെയിനർ ഓൾ ആർ വെൽക്കം ഫോർ മൈ ഫയർ ആൻഡ് സേഫ്റ്റി കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ട്രെയിനിങ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഹിയർ ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഗിവൺ യു ടു ക്ലാസസ് ഫോൺ ജനറൽ സേഫ്റ്റി അവയർനെസ് വൺ ഈസ് ഇൻ മെയിൻലി ഫോർ ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റിംഗ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് സേഫ്റ്റി എൻ്റെ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ക്ലാസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് സേഫ്റ്റി അവയർനെസ് സോ now i am coming for the third class for that is how safety can be implemented so before going to the current class i just to want to give a review why i want to give you review means because if this class is this is seen by a new person they must have a some basic idea about the safety or my previous class so let us understand what are the things i am going to talk to you for the previous class what is safety safety means freedom from any dangerous condition if you are not following the safety accident may be happen uh, what is accident means it is an unexpected event or unplanned event due to accident either life may be lost property may be getting damaged want to also where injury can happen so nobody want to have an accident because of the accident very huge cost is occurring one is hidden cost and other is direct cost it done cost is much more it cannot be compensated with any money also then i heard uh, i have told you that the reason for accidents are two main mainly two one is unsafe act 88% of the accidents are happening due to unsafe act because of unsafe act means this is a human error and another 10% of the accidents are happening due to unsafe condition because of the working condition is not proper so 98% of the accidents are under control only 2% is remaining left for our god we can say that so 98% of the accidents we can control it then i have in the second class i have told you what are the areas of safety when we are talking the areas of safety there is no any area without a safety safety is applicable to everywhere that's why it has written that safety first always that again even though that like that way i have pointed out some more the area like this fire safety and in electrical safety industrial safety construction safety so many thing like that way i am not going to repeat it again i also point out that when we are going for a safety we must have a proactive approach proactive approach means we are not going to wait till that problem has to come before that we are taking an action so these are the thing i have just uh, explained in the last two classes now i am coming to a new subject how safety can be implemented in our workplace or in office or in any other construction site or any other area the basic implementation program require five steps what is the five steps means first educational training so we have to give continuous educational training program is the best way for safety implementation that's why whenever any work starts that we are just having a safety talk in every day that people are asking and telling so whatever you are talking the same thing is repeating again why this is ha- happening means because even though the repeated is repetition is there because people are having a mentality for forgetting the things very frequently and moreover once we have talked uh, talked the same thing is repeating that will go to in our mind as an example suppose we are seeing a uh tv a good good movie is there so meanwhile in every 15 minutes some type of advertisements are occurring or some companies advertisement like a product or any other thing something like washing powder or any other thing it is continuously coming in every 15 minutes but we are very unhappy with that as well then why they are showing because even if that is a continuously showing that will go in our mind so whenever we go to the market we are going to purchase their product that is the psychology behind it the similar way even people are not interested in safety but if you are going continuously talking ultimately the safety habit will be can be uh, get it from that people person also now next pro next program is there next step is there 
engineering controls engineering control safety engineering we can say that so suppose uh, some somewhere a road is some digging has done is there so whenever we are going for a way it is a dangerous condition so what we can at least the digging may not be stopped immediately so for the time being we can put a, a, a board that is road diversion is there dangerous such type of control is known as an engineering controls method we can implement it next step is enforcement of rules whatever the safety rules and everything we have to enforce people first we are telling polite way people has to be obeyed but still all the people mentalities are just uh, or not obeying the such type of rules then what we have to do is forcibly we have to implement it as an example suppose the people has to be wear helmet for while uh, driving a vehicle or while working in the condition if you have found anybody is not using helmet give them safety helmet not wearing give some punishment or some uh, something like uh, giving uh, salary cut from their uh, their monthly salary or, or first we can give some warning one or two time warning this still it is not implemented the financial cut, cut, cut we are started now automatically they will start wearing so such way we can implement the uh, safety rules we can implement it next one is uh, enthusiastic enthusiastic means people should be an interest for learning your safety so that creation activities we have to do it so we have to give some welfare activities we have to get like give some type of a safety culture program like a safety dark drama or safety competition or housekeeping competition like this way so many competition activities we can create it and people can be awarded for a best worker or best safety people so the automatically people will generate people can get a, a enthusiastic mentality for learning safety one by one next another one is there evaluation what do you mean by evaluation even though we have taught everything but still the people uh, we we should not just uh, sit idle that everything will be happen in a normal way uh, any time people can disobey the rules so the frequent visit in the safety site and frequently we have to watch the safety safe working for the people and <coughs> if it is anything is required we have to take the action immediately so these are the step we have to we have to take for the safety implementation so let us uh, conclude uh, uh, one conclude one more thing so what are the things means first educational training then engineering control then enforcement of safety rules then enthusiastic mentality we have to create then evaluation now till this then not finish another important thing is there that is ppe so what do you mean by ppe it is a personal protective equipment this personal protective equipment is a very important factor for a safety this there are two type of personal protective equipment one is for a general ppe it is applicable for everybody then another is a particular type of ppe that is required for only that particular job as an example suppose somebody is wearing safety helmet safety shoes safety goggles etc these are a general type of application safety ppe we can say that so, but suppose somebody is doing a welding job he may be requiring a separate welding gloves a separate welding helmet and also a separate gloves then that is for a particular type of job only so maybe somebody is doing a chemical job then that whatever the gloves for a welding job is not suitable for that gloves so particular job that ppes are varying like this way implementation of safety uh, this pp is also we can um, we can get a good safety so these are the way we have to implement safety now i am not going to talk to you any more thing we will be discussing a new subject on next class for the time being i am stopping it okay i am wishing i am wishing you a very good day very good day means healthy safety and happy day to everybody okay bye